Hello guys, this is Sumadhu here. Um, in this video, we will be covering waiting line models, which is model D, uh, model D, module D from the 12th edition of Operations Management by Heiser, Rinder, and Munson. Um, there are a couple of things uh, that are covered in this chapter. Uh, for example, uh, the parts of the waiting lines are described. Uh, wherein you have a queue uh, for the arrival of the customers in the system then the system as a whole is defined and then you have the exit now uh, there's a, an assumption of first in first out uh, that is followed uh, all along in the system and in this video we'll be specifically focusing on single channel single stage single server system which is also referred to as mm1 okay uh, couple of assumptions that are made in the model are uh, for the arrival is poison distribution and the service rate is uh, considered okay so here waiting line characteristics first in first out is the most common and that's uh, that'll be assumed uh, all throughout this video uh, especially for mm1 <clears throat> and we'll be covering uh, single servers single phase and single stage system okay there are a couple of examples that are covered for, uh, let's say, a single stage, a uh, single queue, single stage, as well as single stage, uh, single uh, queue, but two phases system. For example, a drive through of McDonald's or Taco Bell. Okay. Then we have single queue, but multi channel server system, wherein there's a common queue and then they can uh, go to any of the tellers that are uh, vacant. This could be commonly seen in the banking and then we have single queue uh, but multiple channel and multiple server system this could be again in the in the banks or the hospitals where there are multiple channels that are willing to serve the customers and after that they may need to go to m uh, different stages that are cross-linked uh, the service time is considered negatively exponential distribution and what else and uh, the arrivals of the customers is by norm represented by lambda here and the arrival uh, uh, the average number of people that are serviced is uh, represented by mu uh, and based off of that, uh, the formulas that are derived under the assumptions are the the length of the system, uh, the length of the the units in the system, which includes the waiting as well as the 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 customers that are being served, is lambda divided by mu minus lambda. Now, if you notice. Um, the average waiting time uh, the time that is spent by a unit in the system that includes waiting time as well as service time is given by 1 divided by mu minus lambda now this is same as saying lambda times ws correct uh, so all these formulas are are closely linked so if you know one, you can derive the others. Similarly, the average number of units waiting in the queue only is given by lambda square divided by mu times mu minus lambda. When you are doing these calculations in the spreadsheet, make sure that you keep track of these parentheses. Okay. And similarly, uh, the average time a unit spends in waiting in the queue only, not in the whole system. If it is a system, then it's it'll be the previous slide, which is uh, which includes waiting time plus the service time. Okay, if you know both WS and WQ, you can drive one or the other. So, for example, the wait time plus service time is represented by WS, where the waiting time only is represented by this. So you can also drive the service time by subtracting WQ from the WS. Okay, the last thing, the, the new thing is the row, which is utilization factor, and is represented by lambda divided by mu, okay, 
and <clears throat> the probability of having at least one customer one unit in the system is given by 1 minus mu over lambda uh, sorry 1 minus lambda over mu which is if you notice from here this was lambda over mu so if you were to subtract utilization factor from 1 that gives you probability of 0 okay because this is nothing but rho okay now the probability of having more than one unit in the system is given by this is again rho raised to the power k plus 1 okay when k is the number of units in the system and the last thing is once the system is in steady state which means when the system is up and running then uh, I want to show you the Little's law okay uh, in any queuing system in steady state the steady state is the key point here uh, that the length is equals to lambda times the wait time now this length could be either for the system or for the queue irrespective uh, it can be if, if you know either of the two things the third one can be determined that's about the little slow okay now let's look at some of these things um, from by practicing the, uh, some of the end of the uh, chapter problems okay we have um, let's say one of the first question is the, the customer arriving at a salon uh, barbershop at the rate of three per hour it and it is assumed that the service time follow the negative exponential distribution and the arrival of fashion is uh, the arrival of customers is poison distributed okay now since this is in the simplest term it is given to us in the rate of arrival is 3 per hour and the rate of service is 5 per hour so we can safely say that lambda is 3 per hour and uh, rate of service is 5 per hour now we already know the formula from table 5 point uh, sorry table d.3 where all the formulas are given to you okay so we are going to utilize these formulas to calculate first the num numerator then the denominator and then the actual calculation uh, I recommend this mm, step these steps only to avoid any type of uh, mistakes okay so first thing um, the numerator for the average number of customers waiting for the haircut is LQ which is given by lambda squared divided by mu times mu minus lambda okay so first I'm going to refer to this shift 6 raised to the power 2 okay that gives me the numerator then I'm going to calculate the denominator which is mu times mu minus lambda okay so that gives me the denominator therefore the calculation for the LQ would be 9 divided by 10 okay so point 0.9 then similarly the number of customers that are in the shop that includes both the the people who are waiting for the haircut and people who are getting the haircut uh, would be equals to lambda divided by parenthesis oops sorry only numerator here then I'm going to calculate denominator which is mu minus lambda and the same calculation so for these I can actually copy it down now this one is LQ by lambda why so let's look at the formula for the WQ now WQ states that this is lambda divided by mu minus uh, sorry lambda divided by mu times mu minus lambda but since we've already calculated LQ, we can use that value straight away. Okay. So equals to um, LQ 
where's my lq here's my lq and lambda is three that gives us the value of 0 0.3 also ws is one over mu minus lambda so mu minus lambda and then rho is defined as lambda and mu that gives me the utilization factor of 0.6 which means that rich the guy who's running the the shop is busy 60 percent of the time now when it comes to the interpretation it is very important that you keep the units into account so it you have to take into account the units that is being given um, and many a times you have to pay attention to the difference between the wq and ws for example this is in terms of hours okay so if we were to say that this is in hours this is also in hours therefore if i was to multiply this times 60 then i get the values in minutes okay <coughs> so if you were to interpret this the number of uh, the average time a customer waits for his term which means the, uh, the customers in the queue they have to wait for 18 minutes uh, and the average time a customer spends in the shop is 30 minutes therefore the average time the customers uh, spend getting the service which is getting the haircut is about 12 minutes correct uh, also the, the 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 percentage of time rich is busy is 60 percent so 40 percent of the time he's doing something other than um, let's say uh, the haircut so he could be doing the billing and so on uh, but in terms of efficiency this row is a powerful uh, number and this can be determined without doing any fancy calculation as long as you know the rate of arrival and the rate of haircut okay similarly uh, the next variation of the questions could be, for example, let me copy this um, and show you, for example, another variation is what is the probability? What is the probability that uh, the customers would be there? Sorry, this doesn't work for this question. What is the probability that there would be one customers in the in the shop or two customers in the shop? Okay so instead of going to a new question let me show you right here let's say if the question was to be asked what is the probability that there are one customers in the system two customers in the shop or three customers in the shop or zero customers in the shop so let's do it this way yeah so if you look at it uh, the probability that there would be zero customers in the system is defined uh, as 1 minus lambda over mu. So the probability that there is zero customer is 1 oops, equals to 1 minus in parentheses or since we've calculated lambda over mu already here, the, there's a 40% chance that there's nobody in the shop. Okay, then similarly, <clears throat> the probability that there are more than one units or n or k number of units in the system which includes the waiting time and the service time yeah so it says k units in the system where n is the number of units in the system so for example if there's um, we already calculated row here yeah so this is nothing but row so let me get this equals to row and I'm going to freeze it Okay, now to keep things similar, probability. Now I'm going to say what is the probability that there are k number of people in the system. So this would mean that there are um, the probability that there is more than one customer in the system then we can refer to our row row we've already calculated oops what am i doing row we've already calculated here 
raised to the power oops raised to the power parenthesis k plus one yeah so let me correct it yes it did is correct and I should be able to copy it down as long as these values are the same and let me express these values in percentage okay cool so the probability that there are zero customers in the system is 40 percent the probability of more than one customers in the system is 36 percent the probability of having more than two customers in the system is 21 percent the probability of having three customers or more than three customers in the system is 13 percent okay so this is another variation uh, of the problems that you can answer using uh, the single channel single stage single server system uh, for which the rel related uh, formulas are given to you in table d.3 okay um, and that's about it uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to um, ask me any questions uh, via email um, hope you like this uh, find this very useful this is very useful in especially in the service sector uh, especially the, the the percentage of the time that somebody is busy and the utilization factor that is really really important uh, the 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 question of answering this what is the probability that there are x number of units in the system is helpful for example a car wash business what is the probability that there would be two three four or five cars at any given point in time uh, on the site uh, it is very uh, th this this uh, thing is very important uh, in in helping the plan of the business okay um, that's about it take care bye one more thing i wanted to point out is for example in the question such as uh, question number four when we are given the times or the service time and the arrival times in a different format for example uh, there's a doctor who can uh, apply the the vaccine to the dog every three minutes also it is estimated that dogs will arrive independently and randomly i mean of course uh, by their owners every six minutes okay um so if the dogs arrive every oops, every six minutes here and the uh, the doctor can apply the vaccine every three minutes then in those cases you have to calculate first the lambda and the mu okay in this case for example the uh, if the doctor can apply vaccines every three minutes that means let's say in one hour how many mm, dogs can be vaccinated at the rate of three per minute they the doctor can service or vaccinate 20 dogs in one hour correct and similarly if the dogs arrive every six minutes that means there are about 10 dogs that arrive in in an hour okay so in this case uh, you have to pay attention to keep the units the same and to calculate it uh, for a per unit time that is uh, helpful okay um, that that's about it uh, thanks